example one a mass of 56 grams of a saturated solution of a salt K at 25 degrees Celsius yielded 14 grams of a solute of a solid when evaporated to dryness. What is the solubility of that of the salt in 25 degrees Celsius? What is the solubility of the salt in 25 degrees Celsius? So remember now we have 56 of a saturated solution. But what is a saturated solution? What is the content of a saturated solution? Remember, saturated solution equal to a solvent plus a solute. There is a certain amount of solute dissolved in a solvent to form a saturated solution. Very important. But now the saturated solution is 56 grams. The solvent, and we are told that it yielded 14 grams. So the, the mass of the solute that was dissolved in a certain given of the, in a certain amount of water, that, taking an example of water or as a solvent, 14 was dissolved in that water. So solvent we don't have the solvent but we have the solute 14 grams but we can easily get the vo the volume or um, the mass of the solute by doing this simple math so what we do we will take this one this side that's 56 minus 14 will give us the solvent so solvent equal to 56 minus that is 42 grams of if it was water it is water because most the common I am using water because water is the common solvent we use in the laboratory I'm saying the common we have other solvents but this is commonly used next now we have that 14 grams of the solute was dissolved in 42 grams of water to form a saturated solution which is 56 grams now the question is what is the solubility solubility like we have defined it solubility is the mass in a hundred grams of water but we have a certain mass in gram in 42 grams. Now we are going to ask what about 100 grams of water and that is the solubility. So we have we know that 42 grams of water was dissolved in 14 grams of the solute. 100 grams of this of water will contain what amount of the solute? It is 100 times 14 divided by 42 and it will give us 33.33 grams per 100 grams of water and that is the solubility there is a formula also you can use solubility equal to mass of the solute times 100 divided by mass of the solvent so you must find the mass of the solvent you must have the mass of the solute times 100 and then get the solubility in this case the mass of the solute was 14 times 100 the mass of the solvent was 42 solvent 42 and that one will give you 3.33 3 grams per 100 grams of water. State one precaution that could be taken during the experiment above. When you are drying to get the crystals to dryness, it is important to use a water bath. So the precaution is that to use a water bath a water bath during evaporation why do we use the water bath it is to prevent spouting out of the salt to prevent 
spouting out of the salt. Spouting out is the the way it it when it forms crystals, it will start uh, jumping out. That is what we call spouting out. It will jump out. Therefore, we call it spouting out of the salt. So that's the precaution. Let us go to another the question two. Calculate the solubility of potassium nitrate. If five grams of the salt is dissolved in 40 centimeters cube of water, you have been given the density of water is one gram by this what that is important. But from, you should know that 40 gram 40 centimeters cube of water is the same as 40 grams of water is the same as 40 milliliter of water. So this is the same thing. We are talking about the same thing. Now you maybe somebody is wondering how how can 40 centimeters cube be 40 grams? This is how you know that the density is equal to mass over volume. Now the density of water is one. Put one there, which is one gram over other uh, uh, centimeters cube equal to mass. We don't have the mass over volume, which is 40. Right now we want to calculate the. The one this is centimeters cube. So cross multiply this. You multiply that. You will get that 40 grams is equal to mass. So the mass is 40 what? 40 grams. So 40 centimeters cube is the same as 40 grams. It's the same as 40 ml. Now we want to calculate the solubility. We are told that this volume contains five grams of the salt. Calculate the solubility. Solubility is the mass of a solid required to dissolve a hundred grams of the solvent to form a saturated solution. Very important to understand the definition. Therefore, we will ask 40 grams of, of the solvent, that is water we have been given, of water, will dissolve 5 grams of the solute. What would 100 grams of water contain? Because solubility is the mass contain that is needed to dissolve 100 grams of water to form a saturated solution. So this is 100 times 5 divided by 40. And this one will give us 12.5 grams or stroke 100 grams of water. And that is the solubility. So, 100 grams of water requires 12.5 grams to make a saturated solution at a given temperature. We are not given the temperature at a given temperature. 